Well, this sub is different from nearly every other deep diving sub in the industry. A lot has been made about Titan's design being unsafe. You strip away this entire exterior, and this is what you have. Basically, a huge cylinder that's made of a composite material with uh, the carbon fiber, and then you've got a titanium end caps and this viewpoint that's uh, right there on the front. The question tonight is where was the structural integrity, integrity problem? Where did the leak come from to cause it to implode? Did it come from somewhere in one of these end caps, which is essentially glued on to the end of that? This was not certified, nor did it adhere to the standard of all the other subs that make these deep dives where the pressure is just immense. Case in point, the sub limited factor. Take a look at this. This is made by Triton. It's used for deep sea explorer Victor Vescova, who recently traveled to the deepest point on Earth multiple times. That's Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench. You strip away the exterior, and we'll show you what you have right there, a sphere. You crawl down into here, and what you have left is this sphere right there that can stand up to the crushing pressure of the deep ocean. That is the same shape that almost every other sub uses, the one that James Cameron used to travel to Challenger Deep back in 2012. This is why so many in the industry have reached out to Stockton Rush to question his design and the materials that he used and sounded the safety alarm. Tonight, there is a growing push from those in the community to create some new standards for anybody who wants to take along paying passengers in the future to hopefully avoid something like this from ever happening again.